in Romans, verse 8, 2, it says, The law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. Well, there's an old saying, there are two things that are sure in life, it's taxes and death. But there are many types of death. I've seen people die. I've seen people die before their time, die in their spirit, die when something happened that they couldn't handle. And they literally were trapped in that death. I uh, have told the story in some of my speaking engagements around the country of a woman that came to me panicked one day and this was like 1996 and she was crying and everything and and then I said when did this happen to you because it didn't seem like it happened that morning she said 1957 I've never forgotten that I I mean, that poor woman in 1957 had something happen to her and she died at that point. And truthfully, it wasn't that big a thing. If she would have had faith, if she would have realized that God can remake her life, but she didn't. Not until much later on when probably she probably took that to her real grave. I don't want you to ever do that. I want you to, to rise above anything that happens, especially in your own mind. I pray that you're free from limiting thought. And the biggest limiting thought that we ever have is about ourselves. I pray that the Spirit of God frees you now from every limiting thought that you've had in the past, or that you currently hold now. I pray you are free. Now, have you ever thought of yourself as bound by any limiting thought or undesirable habit? Well, the truth about you is that you're a child of God. You are created to be free, unbound, and unlimited. You are radiant, all-wise, all-loving, and all-conquering child of God. Because the victorious Spirit of God is within you, and you have at your command a reserve. And this is something that has to be has to be experienced for you to fully grasp it. It's not just you and what you hold in you right now. You have a secret, silent reserve, invisible, perhaps to your mind at this moment, but whether it's invisible or not, it's there, and it can be called upon, and it can come through you. It gives you the ability to transform your life, to call forth success, and to draw to you whatever blessing you desire. You cease to think of yourself as bound by any person, any condition. You are created in the image and likeness of God, and you're a spiritual being, living in a spiritual wor world governed by spiritual ideas. And you realize in prayer, through the touch of God upon you, your complete oneness with God. And you accept your inheritance of freedom. You give thanks for it. And you go forth to enjoy greater peace and greater success.